Hey guys, welcome back to Final Fantasy Brief XUS. Today, let's talk about Ellie, the strongest mage today in global. Just for me, anyway, I believe she is the best in my opinion. She has the most, the highest multiplied big burst damage in the game today. Maybe until next year, that's you know, like Soul come out or CG Tentrera come out, she might beat her, but today. Ellie is the best or oh, maybe they put something new in like global limited edition mage but I don't think that is like much will be much different okay so basically she can do four elements one is wind one is earth one is fire and water so basically she can do four type of element that do really really high damage however that's good news and bad news guys the good news is she can chain with her wind element for pentacast or quindruple cast. I will call them pentacast guys because the other word quindruple is really difficult for me to say. So basically with um let's do triple cast with wind element like this is similar not similar, it's just exactly the same frame rate with um, you know, TT, Sophia Fire for Chaos Fire family. So let's have a look, guys. So, as you can see, you can chain them perfectly and do like massive, massive damage. However, if you go fight the boss and they are immune or to win, you have to use other element or maybe Earth. You know, you have to use something else. However, when you cast, you know, like let's say um, fire, okay? Let's say fire, because it's, this is only one hit. At first, I had to apologize to you guys that I thought this is chainable when she casts with her dupe, or you, you have a friend, you use Ellie, and this will work like 10 hit chain. But, let's have a look guys. As you can see, it's all break, so it doesn't work at all. So the reason I make this video today is to show you how to do combo for each element, guys. So basically, there will be a combo for wind and for earth and fire and earth. You need to two combination and water and earth to do the maximum maximum damage. However, if the boss or like you know the, the collector that you fight, the monster, have immune to one of this or immune to earth, you screw. So basically you can put only win. Okay? So if they have immune to earth and win, Ellie kinda suck, okay? For for that kind of of element but same thing with TT you know TT can do only fire Sophia can do only fire you know so that is a drawback on the mage that's why mage kind of like uh, not the top tier you know the best collector but they do a lot of damage guys because boss have little spirit so this is the you know the reason they 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 they, they put the mage in and we don't have much mage in the game even in japan we have less for physical damage or hybrid we have more okay so today let's do pentacast guys all right guys so now let's start with the win combo so basically i tie w78 what does that mean basically is so you cast Pentacast, win 78 MP, so it's, it's not like a long name, okay? It's time 5, that means you click it 5 times. Okay, let's see the damage, guys. How much damage can she do? Um, I haven't stacked the, the damage yet, so but this just to show showcase the chain combo. Alright, don't you know, look at the damage, but it's, you know, I, I think it's good enough. Three hundred forty-one million. So basically, I tested this to um, you know my alley is quite you know um, almost quite good. She can go up to like two thousand 
2,000, 200 or 500 if you have like the best gear for like through double hand magic but you can go both ways guys but in my opinion the best thing is she can do do wheel so basically if you have um this thing from you know um i forgot her name so if you do wheel it it will be better and you put tt super tmr in it you are will never run out of mp so basically i my my suggestion to you is to build early with do wheel okay but through double hand is quite difficult for me to do so they both do the same you know have the same magic damage okay and this one have a uh, man eater on it okay so let's try the second combo all right guys for the second combo we will do the earth chain so basically i already cast the cooldown ability you go for pentacast you go for earth 40 and then earth 78 and then earth 40 again and then double earth 78 so it's one two okay so this one 40 78 40 78 78 let's see the chain animation guys here we go Oh, it's break. Okay, this one is break. However, you still do the uh, maximum damage, guys. So basically, it's around 200 million. If you stack everything, it will be like 400. For example, if you do win and you do like, I did like 800 million, this will do about half. Okay, so if you maximum everything, I calculated, she can do like, I don't know, man, almost like 1 billion, okay, on one of herself, I believe. Yeah, maybe I might be wrong on that number. Don't quote me on it. Okay, let's go for the next combo, guys. Okay, now we come to the third combo. So basically, it's a combination of fire and earth element. So basically, you go pentacat again. You go earth because earth do like many hit. And then you go fire, fire, and earth and fire. Okay. Earth, fire, fire, earth, and fire. Alright, let's chain it. It's break, but like I said, the combo will do the maximum damage because you do the earth chain for like 14 or 15 hit it's, it's already max guys so let's say this is like these two have the same damage multiply okay next let's go for the final combo guys all right guys for the final combo is water and earth this do the least damage as you can see it's only 38 times multiply however if you fit in the cooldown ability you can do up to 50 times multiply on the damage however i think i don't suggest you do this but however if you don't have any other good mage this is your best option so let's try it guys with the cooldown ability i hope this one um do the final hit Okay, so basically same thing, 5 cast and then we go for water 78 and then earth 40 and then water and then earth and cooldown ability guys. Here we go. So let's have a look. The reason I make this because I'm pretty sure tomorrow I will forget. Okay, so next time I... I using Ellie, I'm not going to remember all this, so this is a reminder for myself as well, guys. So, welcome back if you forget the combo, welcome to rewatch it anytime. Alright, so here we go 3, 2, 1.
Yeah, it's work. Good. The last hit is missed, so it's um 200 million. So as you can see, it's it's quite the same in damage, all right? For this three, if you do use um cooldown ability, if you think if I I think you need to use this because the damage is quite low. However, if the boss like have weakness on water and earth, water you use this combo. If they have weakness on fire, use this combo. If you have um, the boss on earth and wind, use whatever they have weakness on. Okay, so I think that's it for me on Ellie. I think she is one of the most powerful chaos wave um, damage dealer in the game. Um, however, you know, Chi Chi might be a little bit stronger because why? Because she can use um, quadruple cast. And when you die, you get reset. You can chain like indefinitely with quadruple class. But for her, she have like you know pentacast for burst damage. However, it's you know it's locked down to cooldown ability. So you have you use one turn, then you use another turn. So you have to wait three more turn or four turn in order to use it. However, it's like a burst damage. Okay. So one thing I forgot to mention for triple cast. Okay. For the first two turns, you don't know what to do. So basically, it's simple, guys. Just copy here. Just copy the first three, okay? You know, first three. But this one, uh, okay, let's say, let's say win. Win, you do three times. Earth, you do this one. 40, 78, 78, okay? So basically, that's for her triple cast. And fire and earth, you go 40, earth, and fire, fire, okay? So for the water... You cannot chain it. <laughs> so basically, you can only like do uh, water 78, 40, 32 or cooldown ability. Okay, so you know, water is quite tricky, guys. Let's have a look at the animation before we go. So it's a uh, water and 40. So you have to cast water first and then look at this. Okay, it will not chain, guys. So basically, if you want to use triple cast on water element, you go 40, uh, 78, and then earth 40, and you need to cast this one, 32. Okay, the, the multiply only 4 on that one, but it will chain, guys. However, let's, let's have a look at the, this one first, that it will not chain. Okay, so 1, 2, 3. Here we go. See, it will not change. Okay, so basically the best deal is triple cast, water, 40, and water. Okay, 30, 70, 40, and 30. Oh, I messed it up somehow. <laughs> Let's do it again one more time. I think I uh, cast a wrong spell. Apologize, guys. So basically, this one and that one. And 32. Ah, don't fail me now, Ellie. Okay. Okay, 3, 2, 1. Yeah, I did mess it up. This time, chain perfectly, guys. So, what the damage? 136 million, not bad. Okay, so, as you can see, water is quite the trickiest one, okay? But however, you, you can use with the non-elemental damage as well for the her cooldown ability. So, you, approximately, you do quite the same damage as these two. But the best combo is win, okay? Number two, uh, earth and fire and earth number three and uh, number four i mean is water and earth okay so i hope you enjoy the videos there might be something that i don't know i might be wrong on all all of them however if you guys know the maximum damage multiply whatever you use let let me know in the comment down below guys what is the best combo that you have i've been playing this for like two hours or three hours on alley on how to do combo i use all the combination i might miss some of the combination 
Alright, I apologize in advance if I do something wrong, but I think this is quite, you know, quite good number. Okay, so yeah, that's it for me, guys. I hope, you know, you enjoy your alley, and I will see you guys next time. You guys have a good day. Bye-bye.